Hello. I am recording this, not knowing when this is going to be posted, along with whenever weeks also come up. Um, this is going to be week... Fudge. Week 7 of this right here. Kiyoma Essie. Research log. Veil interface. Supplemental. They're all dead. Chorus. Conductor. Everyone. It was too much. Swept their minds away like... Like grains of sand on a beach. They're all dead. Maya. Maya calls it valuable data points. Well springs and rivers are... Their lives held no value to Dr. Sundarish. There's a troubling symmetry with data we've recovered from Titan. Data on the origin of the witness. It too was once multiple people that became conjoined by the way of some sort of ritual with a veil. Perhaps a conductor and a chorus. It is troubling that Dr. Sundarish seemed to be moving down that same path. I don't like this, Osiris. I don't like this at all. Yeah, Osiris brings up a great point, and I'm glad we're actually bringing that up. Uh, yeah, the witness just sort of becoming a mass of people. Um, kind of makes things a little bit more interesting in the same vein as with this, because everyone died. Everyone. Every single person who came into contact with the veil is dead. Originally. To have it be a amalgamation of people like that, like that's basically symmetry of like he said, like similar to how the witness became the witness, being essentially the uh, the what I will basically call the um the precursor people. Um, basically became the witness because they seeked answers from the Traveler, and the Veil was their answer to that. And to have them basically merge into one being to basically hunt down the answers to the tra from the Traveler, yeah, that's terrifying. Um, hello everybody, and welcome to do some Destiny 2, because I have nothing really to way to talk about this, and I think Destiny works out best for this scenario anyway, especially recently. Um, also, at the beginning, you would have seen the week seven? Week seven? Week seven. Uh, you would have seen the week seven Veil Containment audio. Um, I mentioned that I'm not sure if I was going to do anything with them, but I'm going to basically just toss week sevens in, and I'll try and Depending on if uh, myself and my group can do the new exotic quest for the new scout rifle and any GMs that we might do, I will be including them with uh, at the beginning of those videos just for the sake of if you want it. Um, but. Or I'll maybe keep it at the end depending on what the video is about. But for this, I'll keep it at the beginning. Um, or maybe it's at the end. Who knows? You'll know if there was something before this. Uh, and if it's at the end, obviously, if you... It'll be at the end. But, yeah, I'm here playing some Gambit because I have nothing really to talk about. And Gambit's a very easy, no real thinky brain type game mode for me. Um, I'm from Gretchen Times, not... Gretchen Times and, uh, Dredgen X9. So... But, uh, yeah, uh, essentially, the thing I want to mainly talk about, um, and it's just, uh, this is something that it's like, I don't want to talk about. It's just something that it's like, I hate that I even have to bring it up or that I want to talk about it. 
because it does affect me in some way, um, is the recent issues with Destiny in more or less if it's community rather than the game itself, because we were wrong, there are problems with the game that I have um, that I might do a video on, but um, this is going to be more focused on community related stuff, not um, game. There will be some things involved in that, obviously, because I have to bring up why people are complaining about certain things, yada yada, but mainly to be talking about the community itself. Uh, to start, this community is just getting way more toxic for it seemingly no reason. Like, some of the criticism that people have is warranted, like the weird veil, stuff with the veil not being in the game from the start, and life all story being very iffy, and... A lot of other things, like people not liking Nimbus because they seem very cringe or they're annoying or um, stuff along that sort of nature. But for me, it's the fact that these people think that it's for me, it's mainly the PvP players that are like this because they forget P Destiny's a PvE before a PvP game. PvE is supplementary to what the, this game. I heard Exotic. Nice. Um,. It's the fact that, like, Destiny 2 PvP is very supplementary to this game. It's basically... PvP is literally a suppl like a supplementary thing to the main experience. So, it's very much a scenario where... It's very much a scenario where people are assuming way too much of Bungie... To make it seem like they don't care is not necessarily true. It's just like... Their PvE community is much bigger than the PvP community. As well as they're not the main focus of what the game is. The PvP is just simply there. Because like we don't have a PvP... There's no real story in PvP. It's, hey, you go into the Crucible and fight people. And you help... There is some lore to it, yes. But there's no, like, story involved with it like there is in, like, Overwatch or something like that as to why you're on the map that you're on or whatever. So, it's just annoying that people are constantly like this, thinking that it is a PvP game exclusively. But, in all honesty, I don't agree with it because I think it's a stupid take to have. Because, yeah, Bungie did do... Um, Bungie did do Halo, which has... Very well-known PV... Being a very well-known... I put the barricade the wrong way. I'm dumb. Uh, which is a very well-known PvP game. But the main thing is, again... Destiny is known for its story and its PvE. There are some PvP clips out there that, are, that make Destiny good. Is it not saying there isn't. But... Where do you hear most of, like, the cool... Where do you hear most of that cool, like, Destiny moments? They're almost all in PvE. Did I hit him? Oh, Lord. It doesn't matter. I had no moats, you idiot. <laughs> had no moats, you dummy. Um, but... Yeah, it's very much a... It's just a thing that annoys me that people are constantly in this mindset of like, oh, Bungie has to do 100% focus on PvP. Yeah, if they do that, then you know what happens? PvE suffers. And PvE is where this game is strongest. It just is. I understand people want to be able to have PvP be a part of this game, but at the same time, it's like... It's like trying to balance... Like, it's like trying to make a campaign for a game... And then make a multiplayer out of it. And not have either one of the two suffer. I think perfect example is Last of Us. Last of Us multiplayer, from what I've heard, is really, really fun. And the campaign, at least for everyone else, unanimously likes it. But then they announced a multiplayer and they scrapped it in favor of working on other things. And it's like, obviously Bungie's not going to do something like that. Because they're not stupid. But people need to realize that... PvP is supplementary to the main game, and to say they don't care is not true, 
but I do agree they need to put some more focus in there. I just do not think that some of the changes that people are asking for are either feasible or the right choice. Like, I think some of the major things are, yeah, we definitely need more PvP content, whether it's maps or whatever, even modes. Like, getting Supremacy back is really fun, and I really like playing it. Um, but, like, we do need more attention on PvP that isn't necessarily just the bare minimum. But at the same time, some of the, the choices that people are bringing up, or ideas people are bringing up, are not it. I think the best option for it would be something like... the My best thing I could probably say would be like, hey, give us like an entire season, or like an, like an entire event or season that is just meant to help fix the game. A lot of people are saying like an Operation Health type season. Like delay the expansion by another season. Or something. Uh, delay Final Shape by like a season. And then just have it so we have a season of health. So we can help fix the game. Make sure everything works. Because um, I do agree. Some of the connection issues and server issues. Well, it, they are working, actually working on fixing them. I do agree some of it needs to be more focused on. As well as we do need a season that's like less about content and story. That's more about actually fixing the game. Um... But, on the same token, I do think that, at the same time, having that much of a window with nothing is going to suck. It's it's the same reason why Season of the Lost felt so drawn out. To the point where it was just, like, overstayed its welcome. But, um... But, yeah, I just... I think it's just... There's things you can do and things you shouldn't. Albeit, I do agree that, the, again, changes need to be made. I'm not saying they don't. But, the main thing I want to say, in terms of talking about changes in the game, is the community needs to chill the hell out when it comes to anything. Like, anything that happens. Because it's becoming less of a, oh, let's let's see what the twid has to say, or previously twob, and... Let's see how the community is reacting to a change that may or may not actually affect them. Like, for me, the Divinity shit, I think was stupid. It would need a nerf when the entire game is built around Divinity being used. There's a problem. It's the equivalent of saying, oh, it's the, literally the equivalent, real world equivalent of saying, to get this, to be able to work a job, you need to get a degree. And if you don't have a degree, you're never getting a job. Imagine if every raid said you are required... Like, if, imagine you could not enter a raid if, if you didn't have a Divinity equipped. Or if somebody didn't have a Divinity equipped. Like, they just locked you out. Like, you can technically do GMs without equipping a gun that can use champion mods. Because they have the subclass verbs and stuff like that that can now mesh with everything. Like, hell, I think I did it. I think I uh, did an entire Master of Nightfall solo just on my own, just messing around. And I had one, and my only weapon that I had that had any form of anti-champ was my Quicksilver Storm. Because Quicksilver was just broken as hell. But, again. Like, I thought the Divinity Trauma was stupid. It needed to be nerfed. And they were already talking about nerfing it before Salt brought it up. So, to say like, oh, Salt made it get nerfed. It's like, no, it was going to get nerfed regardless. Just Salt basically brought it up. Um... But, going, I will speak on some of the things that Salt said. I've basically entirely, I hate to say it, but I, I hate to say it because I don't want to sound like rude or cause drama or anything. I don't think Salt knows what he's talking about when it comes to certain things in the game, because Well is not broken. Well is the least broken thing in this game when it comes to damage resist. And, if anything, damage resistance got overtuned to the point where survivability is very hard. Like... The new exotic quest, I had... I ran Arc. Which, right now... Here's, here's exactly how my build is, right? 102 Rezil. All this. I'll even show the mods and everything. Here's all the mods. Obviously, not going to highlight all of them, but you can kind of get the idea. I might get rid of one of these elemental charges, by the way, but I get the idea. And then, for my seasonal artifact... The big thing is, I have electric armor. Damage residual amplified. Just all of these things that should help me take less damage. And 
it, it, it feels like I'm taking the same damage regardless of if I had 100 Rezil or if I had 1. It there doesn't feel like there's a difference. Either something's bugged or things are doing dealing too much damage in general. I think damage resist needs to be looked at again and either be retuned to maybe not at the same levels as it was before or just have things only hit as hard in certain activities and actually have feel like things work because I feel either either things don't stack anymore when it comes to damage resist or or something is very wrong because again I feel like I'm taking way too much damage in PvE on activities that should not be dealing as much damage to me like in general again for example of this the fucking deep dives the deep dive activity um, in late game I feel like I'm getting one shot when I'm amplified it's insane. And I, I understand people don't want the game to be too easy, but the game's already decently hard if you are doing anything that's in endgame. Other than like raids. Like raids I think do need a bit of a tune up, like a bit of a a bit of a hit against the head when it comes to difficulty. Obviously not to the point where it's like Everyone needs to do a job. I still think the state that they're in is okay. I just think damage-wise, some of the things need to be changed. A big thing, I think, especially is like uh, Rune Nightmares is a good example. Where I feel like it did need to have a bit of a difficulty crank. But it feels like that the um, Rune Nightmares was meant to release alongside the LFG stuff. So I think that's part of the effect of it. It's just they delayed the LFG stuff to later. So... That, I'll at least give him a little bit of slack for. Alright, let's do that. I know I'm making moats and not really having much to really do with them. But listen, I want to... Spread the moats around, you know? Go! Grab that heavy over here. I want to do an invade! Do I want to? Yes, I do. Three times and a hunter. Okay. I can make this work. Ten seconds. Guardian down. Okay, that was a bit of a scuffed invade, but it's fine. They were all spread out. They were all really fucking spread out, so it's not really my fault. They're all spread out, but it seems like I could probably get a really good invade if I had better weapons. It's more of a... I'm usually... I'm just playing it for PvE, not PvP in this sake. Um... Hmm. Listening for that invader, but where'd they go? We'll give them those orbs. There's a sidearm calibration I was using. I was working on. Um, but, going back to what I was saying about sort of with this whole community stuff that I've been annoyed about. It's getting to the point where I just don't like interacting with anything outside of, like, the community managers and the actual, like, dev team themselves. Because talking to anyone in the Destiny community about anything feels like trying to talk to a brick wall and tell it that it's, a, it's like trying to compliment a brick wall. You're going to, you're going to look like a weirdo, and you're also going to be getting, like, nowhere fast. And that's the main problem that I have, is that you're going to be getting nowhere fast, and it's going to be very entirely pointless 
for everyone involved. Um, which I know is a weird analogy to put, but it's like, hey, I really feel pointless trying to talk to anyone in the Destiny community that isn't someone I already talked to about it. Like, whether it be in my clan or some new friends that I've made that play Destiny. It just feels entirely pointless to try and do anything related to the game. Um, outside of that sect of people. But. Just do this. Grab this heavy. Um, but it just I get so annoyed at this stuff because it's like I love this game. It's one of it's the only game that I've really been able to play and not really get bored of it in terms of like the game not having something to do. I more get bored of it if I have burnout. Um, which is a lot of the reason why, like, after the seasonal story, I usually didn't do anything because I burned myself out on it so much. Um, but even then, I still love the game. It's not saying I don't love it. I just sometimes think I need to cool the jets when it comes to playing the game. Uh, at least when early on. I hit level 100 pretty quick. Um, like, a lot, of the, a lot of it was because I was using a, uh, basically the weird Thunderclap punch bug for a bit. But even then, I didn't hit 100 until recently. Um, but I could have easily, I just didn't. Because <laughs> you get so much XP doing anything like that if you just sit in an area where there's a lot of enemies. I think they're using the new scout. Somebody tells me that they are. I'm not using Malfi now. Using Malfi and an energy scout, I'm assuming. Alright, let's do that to hopefully get some amplification and do this. You can get it amped. I don't have my super. Fucking asshole. Hey, you play dirty. I don't like it. Enemy invaders down. You can win. Your invaders back with three kills. Yeah. And victory. Got it. Got some moves. Easy. Yeah, boy. Um, but yeah, it's like, I, I, I just get, I lo again, I love this frick community, and I'm trying to swear less in videos, so, I love this community so much, I love it, it's one of the, okay, what the hell, I'm giving that Titan best dress, because that's funny as hell, um, I love this community so much, it is something that I just love, oh god, they're using literally blue armor, oh, they're, they are, they're new new. They are new new. <laughs> That's cool. I love running into blueberries. They're, they're, or running into new lights, rather. Um, but, going off topic again, uh, I love this community. I do. I deep down really want to love this game and this community. But I cannot like the community with the state that it's in because of literally. I ran, I'm not even joking this. I ran this emblem, emblem through all of Pride Month. Every single time I ran it, I would either get targeted or i just get emoted on. Which, to be fair, is funny. Because it means people are getting salty over, na over a rainbow. Hell, my number one used emote right now in my main slot is the pride emote. Because it, I like doing it because I know if I play comp, it will trigger some people. But it's the fact that people get so mad about it. 
it's like it if it doesn't affect you and you don't like it, just obviously the, yeah, I, I feel bad. You probably are annoyed because it's getting plastered in your face. But listen, you can do this thing called not acknowledge it and not feed the flame that is more problems. Like I understand it's being shoved in your face. It really isn't, because you gotta remember you're probably more privileged than we are. Because obviously I I'm I'm trans. I literally deal with shit like getting harassed on this game on a daily basis. I usually, usually, I literally had to do, like, restart my game to get rid of the text chat. Because I don't want to be looking at the text chat because people decide to, one, f basically, as much as I do like the meme of having YT in my name, I'm really debating on starting to remove it on games when I can get name changes. The only one I keep it on is COD because it's funny and I know it triggers people to seeing that. But this combo here, I think, sucks because the fact that people look it up, see my channel, go to the About section, or go to Twitter and immediately see all of, like, the, like, general plast like plastered of me being trans and shit, and they'll basically start running their mouth in, in voice or text chat. And that isn't necessarily a thing to, related to me, and I do report them, and I have gotten confirmation that some of them have been banned, thank God, but... It's the fact that people got mad over this emblem, or emblems like this, or even better yet, this one I know triggers people even more, this one. I love this one too. I like using this one because this one uh, shows that I uh, donated to charity, along with this one as well. I like this one. This one I'm actually just getting rid of because I don't like it that much. But this one just shows I donated to charity. This is Legendary Life All, PvP, Twist Drops, just cool and then very rare. Um... But, like, I love this game so much, and the community really ruins a lot of the game for me a lot of the time, because either they're leaking shit, they're talking about things that should not be talked about, and I think the biggest thing is, they complain about things that are non-problems, and if, or if they are a problem, they're blowing it out of proportion. Like, obviously... The one thing I will agree on, no matter what, will always be the server connections. It has been abysmal, and I have not, and I have legitimately like not been playing because every time I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go play. Usually with DPS, there's like the server jam, so I'm like, okay, I'll wait till Wednesday. I'm recording this on Monday. It literally is now reset. It's one one oh seven p.m. It is reset. Um, it is literally reset, and oh, I have another. Another new light. Cool. Um, and they're there, right there. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I love flies like a brick. It's so fun. Actually, I got this email through a bright dust engram. <laughs> Solve the deck. Anyway. Um, but... Like, I just love the game, but I literally feel like, at least not necessarily the community itself does this, but I literally feel like the community doesn't even know what they really want out of the game. At least the greater majority. Obviously, YouTubers are different, unless your name is Salt Agrippo. And then you just want the game to be unnecessarily hard for no reason. Um, because, again, listen, Salt, I agree with you on a lot of things. The game you're looking for is not ever going to be what Destiny is, and if you just don't like the how the game is, you can just leave. I understand that sounds rude and sounds mean, but, like, listen, just because you want the game to be hard doesn't mean it should be hard for everyone else. Do I think there should be some difficulty in this game? Absolutely. The game is most fun when it's difficult. I, it's one of the reasons why I love doing GMs. Is that, albeit when they're doable and they feel plausible and easy and somewhat, like, actually plausible and they're fun. Oh my god, that was so many shatters. Um, like I said, when they're, like, when it's Devil's Lair or, um, Devil's Lair or some of the ones from last season that were decently easy. Um, like, uh, freaking, not Glassway. One of the other ones. Um, there's a couple of other ones last season. They're pretty. They were decently easy. Um, but like when it's a like a reasonably easy GM, 
that I do still have to be careful in, but it's like, it's basically near free loot. I'm just like, hey, this is fun, because it's still, it's difficult, and the loot, the loot is rewarding, but it's not so difficult that I literally feel like I'm, it's not so difficult that I literally feel like I'm forced to use the best stuff. I can just kind of use what works. Because that's my problem, is I hate using stuff that's on, that's meta. For the sake of, if I don't, I lose, type thing. I like being able to, obviously I understand meta is important. Um, and I, it's not saying that I don't want to use on meta stuff. I will if I have to. But I want to be able to have options. It's why, the number one choice for anti-barrier stuff, if I'm not using, if it's intrinsically. Up until, um, Wish Ender got it. I was using, I, obviously I was using Arbalest. But once Revision Zero came out, I wasn't taking that shit off my loadout. I put it back on my loadout. I love this thing. It's so much fun. I love this gun. It's so cool, man. Um, I love I, I love weird guns in games. That will be one thing I always stand by. I love weird, weird guns. Let me... Thank you. <laughs> um, ooh, heavy. Double bricks. Pog. But... It just sucks that, like, it feels like, obviously, yeah, there are certain things where, yeah, you should be using meta stuff. Like, a lot of people say, oh, Thunderlord's really, really good. Thunderlord's, like, the, the best thing to use DPS in. It is, depending on the scenario. It's still solid. It's solid damage, but it's not the best damage. I don't like using rockets because I, I have, one, number one, I have the worst luck when it comes to somebody jumping in front of me and blowing themselves, blow, making me blow myself up. And two, I am usually the person who's running, who's running something like Wither Horde, so I can't run G-Horn. And even then, I'd much rather just use Linears, because at least Linears, I feel like I know I'm doing a good amount of damage. If I'm, I more often feel like I'm missing with my rockets, which isn't necessarily saying like, oh, which is just me admitting, yeah, I probably do suck. But at the same time, I like at least being able to know that I'm, that if I miss, it's not because my rocket went flying 90 meters too far to the left. And it's just genuinely that I got flinched off target or I just genuinely miss. That's my thing. Punch. Punch. Then Shabuski. I missed. Oh, oh, you are a... You have Lightfall. Nice. Look at you. Very rare to see an actual new light with Lightfall these days. Like a proper new light. I thought they could not... They could very well not be a new light, but... Very weird to see new players. Um... Comes back again. Damn, wow, you are persistent. I'll play for oh, fucking hell. Shit, 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 shit. I'm running away, I'm running away, I'm running away, I don't want to die. There we go. Sorry, I'm, like, focused now. <laughs> um, let me try and think of an example of something else that I really don't like about the community complaining. For me, one thing I do hate, and I, again, I, this is something I agree with, is, again, the stuff with the veil that we got in that one cutscene in week four, and the witness and everything, um, along with... Um, Just like that specifically, I understand entirely what people are mad. That that pissed me off because again, I was the type of person who was like, I wonder what this veil is. We've heard it in season of Seraph, and this thing is important. I want to know what this is. 
and then we don't find out until literally a season later. I do like what they're going with in the idea of making the seasons be more supplementary to the story of the greater expansion. I just wish it wasn't so important that it literally is... I just wish it wasn't so important, like, in the nature that it is right now. We're, like, we're literally getting Lightfall con context to Lightfall in season, the second season of the expansion. Like, it'd be one thing if it was in the first season, because I feel like at least then that may that way would add more context. But the li this Veil containment stuff should have been in the game at launch, which makes me think it was supposed to be, along with the hand cannon. Um, but, like, yeah, something had to get cut or something had to get dropped. Um... Which, again, brings me to another thing. Could people in this community stop thinking they know how game dev works? I don't know how game dev either. I have a very basic understanding of game dev. Like, very basic understanding of how game dev works. From watching people who I know do game dev, and from my friend Evie, or Kaiju Paz, that you may see me play games with. I did 1v1 of Pokemon, we do Splatoon together. Um... Like, they took IT in, in the same school as I did. So, like, listen, it is very much a thing where, it is very much a thing where just, like, people need to stop assuming they know exactly how game dev works when you really don't. You do not know how game dev works. You might have an idea, a semblance of how game dev works. I have some semblance. I'm still not going to say what a solution to a problem is. I'm just going to get feedback about a problem and then give a possible suggestion if it's a thing that could be done. For example, again, an Operation Health would be great. An Operation Health season, I think, would be great. Or just dedicating an entire, like... I'm not saying take the game offline for like a week. I think that'd be a bit cruel. But like, take the, like, have a announced scheduled, like, few days of where, hey, we're not releasing anything new at all. Like, we're going to have an update that's going to, like, a big, large, up, like, title update to the point of where it would be like a new season. But we're not adding anything new. We are just straight up just making the game more stable. And we might need, we need to take the, like, hey, say, hey, we need to take the game offline for at least a day. But it's going to be in the sense of we're going to try and get things fixed. If, even if they were just transparent about saying, hey, we're going to make things get fixed. That'd be better than just letting things stew and get more broken. Obviously, there's a limit to certain things as to, like, what they should be done in terms of getting, like, certain things fixed. But at the same time, it's it's weird. There's it's still very weird because there's so much going on that there's so much going on in terms of the game that is either being worsened by the community or worsened by the stability. For example, I know of several people who are trying to run GMs and or and even tell some of these people were trying to run trials carries and the game was either tossing them into cheaters and trials or tossing them into cheaters and trials that were yoinking accounts. I think that's a very new problem, at least in terms of Destiny. And it's fucking annoying. I can't imagine having my account just get either yoinked or just disabled. That would suck. And then for GMs getting randomly disc or and not even just GMs like the new dungeon getting randomly weaselled in the middle of the new dungeon, that sucks. Especially if you're doing a solo flawless, that that freaking sucks. Um, but the community is getting way out of hand when it comes to this type of thing. Because don't get me, don't get me wrong, again I understand the annoyances and the difficulty that is getting tossed into. What is essentially the fire of problems, and then feeling like you're getting, you're it feels like you're fighting a losing battle with something, like you're fighting a battle that you are not going to win when it comes to stability. 
that is something you just cannot control. I, and I, I even then I understand that's something that's very hard to predict and control. But at the same time, complaining about it, like it's complaining about it, like somebody has been just is getting killed, is not the answer to your problem. It's just not. I know I've been kind of ranting towards the end here, but it's like I love this game and I only want to see it succeed. The community needs to just the community specifically needs to chill the hell out. And let Bungie do their thing, because Bungie knows best, and the only people who are going to kill Destiny is going to be Bungie. And the only people who are going to kill anything is going to be the people who make the game. The only people who are going to kill Call of Duty is Activision. The only people who are going to kill Devin Dilly is going to be... I don't remember the... I think it's Behavior? Um, the only people who are going to kill Fortnite is Epic. The only people who are going to kill X game is going to be X developer. You get the idea. People just need to stop so much of this an annoying levels of just hate. I understand again. Crit I will say this. There's a difference between criticism and hate. If you want to give valid criticism, you can do that. Do not do it in the form of death threats. Do not do it in the form of like threatening to swat Bungie. Threatening to blow up Bungie. It, the fact that people have done that is uh, it blows my freaking mind. It, it, they did it with Warzone too. It's both Wars, Warzone. I'm not saying Warzone 2 as in the game. I'm saying Warzone as well. Because technically both Warzones have experiences. Warzone 2 especially. Um, like, hell. I am not... I'm going to admit something I'm never go, I've never said before. I actually really enjoy Warzone 2. In the current state that it's in. People are dr jumping ship because they don't like it. And that's not saying that they should like it. I'm not saying everyone needs to like this thing that I like. But it's like to see people who love this game only hop off the ship because it's they're doing changes that people that like people like me want. It just shows oh they're pandering to casuals. No, they're not. They're pandering to people who actually want to who want to play the game more. Because there are people like me who play Call of Duty a lot that but don't play Warzone, and Warzone is what gets cod their money mainly because it's not only is it free it's engagement because engage they get paid by engagement more than anything or at least to investors that's how they make investors their money is that they have a high engagement rates and if warzone has a very splintered player base it's not gonna it's not gonna work but i'm going on topic with that but it's like again sending death threats to community members both content creators as well as developers you, you honestly, I'm gonna say something that's very harsh. You deserve to be banned in the game. You just do. Maybe not permanently, but for a very goddamn long time. You deserve to be like have a temporary suspension on your account if you threaten a dev, whether that be through death threats or whatever. Actually, this is in general. If you thre if you threaten a dev or insult a dev or say anything rude to a dev, in like on it, it, intentionally, like I, I will say this: if you word something and it comes off wrong, that's different. But if you intentionally target a dev constantly over and over and over again, you deserve to have your account either suspended or banned, depending on how bad. And I hate to say that that's cruel. It's getting to the point where I wouldn't be I wouldn't be opposed to that. Um, but again, I love this game. I will stand by this. I love this game to death. I know Bungie's. I know. I feel like I have faith in Bungie for to be able to fix the th some of the problems that we have. And there are also going to be some problems that I know won't ever be fixed because it's just how the way, the way they're going to be. That being microtransactions. I am basically forever going to be on the mindset of microtransactions aren't changing. That is how they're going to be until the end of the earth. It just is. But again, the community needs to chill the fuck out on some of these problems. On some of this annoyance of hate. It's getting actually sickening. With how bad it's getting, specifically to community members, I'm just sorry. It it it, it just is. And I know I'm probably gonna end this video in the middle of this campaign game, but listen, again, I'm reiterating this. I love this game. I have made so many memories through this game that I've legitimately debated quitting Call of Duty to basically become de like not necessarily full time Destiny, but at least could be like primarily Destiny content as my like FPS. But I can't, I just can't, I, one, I'm not good at making Destiny content, other than PvE. Which, a lot of time, will require more than one person. 
And I'm also not very entertaining in the sense of comedy. At least in my opinion. I'm just not that funny. But, yeah. If, 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 you're, if you're making the COD player want to quit Call of Duty, this game's fun. I've had the most fun playing this game with clanmates and with friends than I have playing Call of Duty for as long as I have. I've been playing Call of Duty since Black Ops 2. And I've been playing it nearly religiously since then. I legitimately have debated on just dropping it almost entirely for Destiny. Just because of... Not necessarily the disappointments in COD, but because I've had to have so much fun in this game. And the community is literally the only thing that's really making me... Other than my own, like, self-doubts, the community is the thing that's stopping me. That's literally the main thing. But, that being said, again, sorry this is very a, rant, a very ranty, heavy video. Um, I'll probably try and work on getting the Ignu Exarch Scout Rifle with a couple of buddies to see if it's possible uh, after the reset. Because mainly their current reset rotation for Deep Dive sucks for that challenge. Um, but, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop off. This call, uh, uh, this call. I'm gonna hop off this recording, just by saying again, I love this game. I only want what's best for this game. I want to see this game become like the best, not the best video game ever, but like I want to only see this game succeed. And yeah, I, I guess thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, and whether it be for me or for whatever. And you want to see more just general Destiny or gaming content, subscribe. I upload every day. I try to anyway. Um, and, uh, yeah, I post a variety of different games, from, again, from Call of Duty, Destiny 2. I'm going to try and get back in Dead by Daylight, maybe some Apex Legends, depending on if I can get some more friends on there. Um, want to branch out maybe into some fighting games or something. I also do play a lot of Nintendo titles as well from time to time. Pokemon, Splatoon, Smash occasionally. But I basically post a lot of variety of gaming, and it'll most likely the videos I make will be on video games. And if you're interested in seeing more stuff about video games that are just very, just meant to be like, hey, you're having fun on the couch playing video games with with a by yourself or something type vibes, that's sort of what I go for. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Last to make. Have everybody stay safe, and I will actually keep the rest of this game by game in because we're almost done anyway. But yeah, see you guys next time. I'm just gonna mute up this. I'm just gonna mute up and let the game finish. Hey, relax. You're making this look a little too easy. Keep it up.